السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today, إن شاء الله, we're going to study about lenses. We have two types of thin lenses. We will focus. There are more than two types, but we will focus mainly on two types. First one, we call it converging lens, and or convex lens, and the other one is diverging lens or we call it concave lens. Now why do we call this lens is converging? As you see here lens it's made of a glass, a transparent object made of glass. All the rays will hit the lens and because of refraction the rays will bend inside the, the lens and then it will bend uh, uh, again when it goes out, when they go out of the lens because of the different uh, in, in the index of refraction. Now, as you notice here, I have thin, this lens is thin at the edge and thick here in the middle. So I have considered it like I have two concave, uh, two uh, convex uh, mirrors stick together. So here I have a, a, a convex and convex uh, uh, mirror. It's like two convex mirror, but we call it con we call it convex uh, mirror, or for simplicity, we'll call it converging. Why is converging lens? Because it converge, gather all the light in one point. We call this point the focus point. This type of lens, we can use it to uh, collect all the sunlight at one point to make fire or burn uh, leaves uh, or something. The other type of lens, which is this one, is the diverging lens or concave lens. Concave lens is like we said, remember the word uh, uh, concave going inside the cave. So in the middle of the lens, it's thin compared to uh, uh, the upper side of uh, the edge of the lens. All the light will refract and bend, but all of them, they bend away. If I gathered all the light in this side, they will be gathered in, in one point. What are the type of images produced by these two types of lenses? Here, if I have this one, it's converging lens. If I put the object uh, away uh, here from the focal point, it's really away. The image is inverted, okay? And since it's inverted, it will be real image. Size of image is really small compared to the size of the object. Look here, the height of the object, HO is the height of the object. In, in this case, is 2.27. Height of the image is negative because it's inverted, 1.26. The image, it's on the other side, uh, always so we'll have image on the other side, except in one case we'll, we'll, we'll learn it now. So here the image on the back of uh, this lens. Um, since the image on the back, the distance between the image and the lens is positive. So here DI or in your textbook, uh, the use uh, Q. Q will be positive and P or distance of the object also is positive. Now, when I, when I put the object closer, I want you to look at the size of the image now. So the size of the image start to become bigger. OK, till I reach the focal point, there is no image. All the rays are parallel. And now the object is really close between the focal point and the lens. Here in this case, I will have a bright image. The image will be in the front of the lens which means object and the image both of them are on the same side so in this case i will have d is negative because in the same size so d when d in front of the lens it will be negative since its height at upright it will be virtual and the height of the image q or hi is greater than the height of the object ho or P. In the case of uh, uh, diverging lens, 
okay, I have only one case. Always to produce virtual image, upright. The image produces really small, as you see, it's really small. The height of the image is a small compared to the height of the object. Here I have 0.46 and the object is 1.1. Distance, since distance, the image and the object are on the same side, both of them in front of the lens. So DI will be negative. So here always for virtual image uh, for um, diverging uh, lens uh, Q is negative. So let's summarize this one. If I have converging lens, if I have converging, converging, converging lens, and remember converging lens is this one because it gather all the light in one point, which is the focal point. Okay, always it will produce real image where the object and the image on different uh, side. So P and Q, it will be positive. When do I have negative Q? Q will be negative when only in one case when the image when the image is in front of the lens. In front of the lens it means the image and the object are on the same side. Q is positive. That means the image is on the back of the lens. Here, this will be the front and here, back. Focal length is always positive for converged lens. And this case, this is the only case when the object, when the object is really close, is between the focal point and the lens. For diverging lens, for diverging lens, okay. For diverging lens, F is negative, Q also it's negative. This is the diverging lens and I will always, always have a virtual image where both image and the object are in the same size. Yani both of them, they are in front, in front of the lens. This solve the same, the first question. Okay. Here you have a converging, converging lens. Okay. You have an object. The object is placed 20 centimeter in front of a converging lens, this one. So this is P, the distance between object, object and the lens, this is P. So P, 20 centimeters standing in front of the lens. The for, since it's converging lens, F for converging lens is positive, so positive 10 centimeter. I need to find the image distance, so I need a Q or DI, the image distance, the distance between this image and the lens, and the lens, Q. And I need to find the magnification. So I'm going to use the equation, lenses equation. Lenses equation, 1 over P plus 1 over Q 
will equal 1 over f. P is 20. Q, I don't have it, equals 1 over f, 10. Take this to the other side. Do it here. I have 1 over Q will equal 1 over 10 minus 1 over 20. Make them the same denominator times 2 times 2. So here I have 20. 2 minus 1 will give me 1 over 20. This is 1 over Q. I need Q flip or cross multiplication. Do cross multiply. So Q will be 20 centimeter. Q and the lens are in the same. They have the same distance. P is 20 and Q is 20. That means I would expect the object to have the image to have the same side, the same uh, uh, magnification, same size as the object. It will be definitely it will be virtual to be real image. So let's find M magnification. So the magnification M will be minus Q over P minus 20 divided by 20 to give me minus one. So minus it means the image is inverted. One, it's the same size as the object. And since it's inverted, it will be real image. And of course, it will be on the back of the lens. Question two, it's um, about the diverging lens. And we said diverging lens, I have only one case where the image is always, image produces always smaller image and the object, both of them, they're in the same size, same side. Uh, uh, both of them, they're in the front of the mirror, the front of the lens, which means F it's negative always for concave or diverging lens. Q also should be negative and image produced. It's always upright and always virtual. Okay, so let's read the question. I have an object. The object is placed 20 centimeter in front of a diverging lens. So place 20 centimeter, this for P, 20 centimeter. Focal length, since it's diverging lens, is negative. So focal length, negative 10 centimeter. Find the location of the image, Q, and the magnification. Describe the image. So the equation, lenses equation, one over P plus one over Q will equal one over F. P is a 20, one over 20 plus one over Q equals, F is negative, so negative one over 10. Take this to the other side. So 1 over Q will equal negative 1 over 10, negative 1 over 20. Multiply here by 2, multiply by 2. So I'll have a 20. Negative 2, negative 1, negative 3 over 20. Flip. So I'll have Q will equal negative 20 over 3 and uh, negative 20 over 3 will give me negative 6.67 centimeter. Okay, I need the magnification. Okay, so magnification will be minus Q over P minus minus 6.67 divided by P20, it will give me 
positive point thirty-eight. So positive it means the image is upright or erect. Since it's upright, it will be virtual. And since it's less than one, so it will be reduced. Now, if the question, if the question, suppose give you the height, the height of the object, suppose I give you the height of the object in, in the exam, for example, it's suppose the height of the object two centimeter, and I ask you find the height of the image, so in this case, you will use the, the other equation for magnification. Magnification will equal height of the uh, image divided by the height of the object. Substitute and find the height of the object. So magnification is 0 0.38 will equal h bar divided by 2. You do cross multiplication and you find the height of the image. Next video, inshallah, we'll explain the ray diagram. That's it, girls.